No more technical difficulties. Let's dive right in. What will you get out of this training? You're going to make more money. You're going to have better ROI, and that means return on your investment. And investment can be time, energy, money, any kind of investment. Doing this work here, getting clear on your uh, message, is going to improve your results that you get as a return on your investment. No more anxiety about what to write, what to produce, what to launch, what to do next in your business. We all want these things, right? So this is gonna be fun. So how are these things possible? How am I gonna train you how to get all of that in this? Well, to show you that this is possible so that you don't think I'm, I'm full of it. Um, the key to getting better ROI, bigger impact, and bigger income is a standout message. You're gonna hear me talk about a standout message a lot because if you're not standing out from the noise, your ideal clients aren't going to find you or notice you. They're just gonna scroll right past your work, right? A marketing strategy that works for you. Just because somebody else is making bank off of a marketing strategy does not mean it's going to work for your business. So copying what other people do isn't going to help. You need to have your own unique marketing strategy. All right, just checking on the comments real quick. Yeah, okay, so Anita Chandra can be found at Anita Chandra Yoga on Facebook.com. Excellent, excellent. Okay, and the comments look good. We're still live and direct. So, um, standout message, marketing strategy that works for you, and a sales funnel that's aligned. What do I mean by a sales funnel that's aligned? I mean that all of the different elements are aligned with each other so that they make sense as someone goes through your funnel that your different pieces are aligned with your core message. They're aligned with your brand. They're aligned with what you really want to be doing, that they're aligned with you and your passions and what lights you up. That's all very important. And whether you realize it or not, you do have a sales funnel. Everyone has a sales funnel. It could be as simple as connecting with people at a networking event handing them your card, and then following up with them later that week to actually make that connection last beyond the networking event. And then if one of you hires the other, or if you collaborate together, or if you do any business at all, that's a sales funnel. A sales funnel could be as simple as, um, you know, going on the internet to find a babysitter. That babysitter that you find on the internet um, got visible, got your attention, proved her credibility as a babysitter, and then you ended up hiring her to watch your kids. He had a sales funnel. So every single time you do business with someone, whether it's in person or online, face-to-face -face or through content and um, opt-in freebies and all that kind of stuff, it's a sales funnel. Uh, it's just a matter of attracting the people who you want to work with and gently guiding them towards working with you, okay? So that's your sales funnel. And it all starts with a clear message. So that's what we're gonna work on today so that your sales funnel works. All right, so in three words or less, tell me about your business, all right? In three words or less, pop into the comments right now and tell me what is the real purpose of the work you do in three words or less, okay? Now, if that feels challenging, if you feel like you couldn't possibly talk about everything you do in three words or less, it's understandable. But it's a sign that you're not clear on what it is you do, and that's why it's causing so much trouble for you when you try and communicate that to other people, when you try and share your message with other people. So it's okay if you can't figure that out right now, because by the end of this training, you will be able to describe your business in three words or less. Now there's a workbook that goes with this training. The workbook can be found by um, opting in to the Real to Ideal email list or just clicking on that link. The post to get your workbook is pinned to the top of the Real to Ideal Success Coaching Facebook page, which is where you're seeing this video, pinned to the top of the page right now. So if you haven't already grabbed it, it's the clear and captivating message PDF. Uh, a lot of my fans and clients and, and, um, and community already has that 
workbook, so uh, you may already be familiar with it. But if not, go grab it now. You can get it instantly delivered to your Facebook Messenger so that if you want to have it for this training and you don't have it yet, that's the fastest way. Or if you're already on the email list, then it's in the Real to Ideal toolbox where you'll find lots of resources. So it's one of the resources in there. All right, awesome. So Anita's three word phrase that describes her entire business is embody transcendent bliss. And we're going to talk all about that on this video. Uh, let's see here. Sarah's, Sarah Talbert, her three word phrase is cultural sustainable experiences. Oh, oh. Love that, Sarah. Sarah, you nailed it. You nailed it. I love it. I, I, I hope you, yeah, that's perfect. I love it. So beautiful. You two are set as far as your three word phrase. I'm going to show you how to expand on that later in this training. Okay, so we're going to go from chaos to clear. And then with that clear message, break that down into actual content ideas to help you spread that message and attract clients. All right. So, check the comments to make sure. Hey, Jennifer. And, all right. Where are we at? I'm looking, I'm looking at my notes here. So, I keep looking up. So, I want to make sure I don't leave anything out. I don't want to leave you confused. I got to make sure this training is live. So, it's here. During last week's training, I gave you some examples of this three-word phrase, and that's probably why Anita and Sarah are ready to go on this one. Uh, I told you that mine is revolutionary leadership, and I, the way I spell that is with an emphasis on the evolutionary, the R's in parentheses. So it's revolutionary leadership with this emphasis on evolution. Let me draw that out for you, actually. I don't know why I just described it to you. <laughs> this will be good for me to see if this is showing up well. Oh, good. You can see that. In fact, we can bring this down a little, maybe. Okay. Oh, looks crooked on the screen. Anyway, so revolutionary leadership as long as i'm forwarding this evolution from business as usual to leadership that makes a difference i know i'm on brand and so that's all you're going to hear me talk about you're going to hear me talk about marketing content that converts a standout message and all these things because those are how i help enlightened entrepreneurs make a difference in the world. That's how I help you increase your impact and your income so you can be a revolutionary leader, okay? So my clients have phrases like healing childhood trauma. That's all she does. She heals childhood trauma in parents so that they don't pass it on to their kids. She heals childhood trauma in non-parents so that they can live better lives because that trauma is staying with you. Um, that's B. Marshall, if anyone is interested in that kind of healing. Reclaiming redemption. That's Jennifer Medeiros' phrase, reclaiming, reclaiming redemption. She helps you rewrite your redemption story because everyone is worthy of redemption. And then uh, Fiona Tate has Guiding Vaulties or Vaulty Guidance. She also says sometimes creative guidance for Vaulties. Vaulties is a word that she coined for women without children. We just don't have a word for that. We have a word for like almost every uh, type of, of um, family relationship, but not for women without children. And she wants to change the way women without children are looked at, treated, um, how society um, looks at them, and so she's created this word vaulty to mean a valued auntie. I love that word. All right, so if you feel like you still can't distill your entire business down to these three words or less, stay tuned, because you will be by the end of this. So let's dive right into the mind map. I'm gonna show you an example of a chaotic mind map. Now, I based this off of Anita um, when I first met her, I'm making this up. I want you to know that I am sort of using some of the things we talked about when I first met her, but I am making this up. So Anita is not this chaotic. 
but I wanted to have alignment throughout this training. So I'm going to um, just kind of play around with what her mind map might have looked like back then. So we had yoga. I'm trying to write as big as I can so you can see this. Yoga, um, which was a way, let's just do that. Yoga, and we had pain relief. What else did we have? We had resistance, so, uh, which, I don't know, I guess it's over here. Resistance. Um, let's see here, spine science, which was part of yoga. We had uh, flow, ease. You like that view? Like that view? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, freedom. Freedom's a good one. Freedom. Bliss. Vitality. Gosh, I like writing on the wall. I feel like a kid again. Consciousness. I'm going to throw that over here. Consciousness. And I guess we could even say that, I mean, I'm not quite sure how these pieces fit together, which was part of the problem, but we could say that this was all related to transcendence. So if that was maybe, then we've got these coming off of it like that. So there's one mind map. we got another mind map over here. I'm not sure where resistance fits onto this, other than resistance is opposite to these things. And resistance, I guess you could say that yoga helps you um, free yourself from some of the resistance, helps you free yourself from the pain. Uh, let's see here, yoga lifestyle. So we got lifestyle right here. I'll go ahead and erase this so we don't get confused. All right. Okay, so if you look at this, Gotta get used to this room. Um, if you look at this, it's kind of chaotic, right? When you look at this, it's like, I feel like this business is about relief from resistance so that we can get those things. So I could get clear from this. I could say, yeah, okay, when we relieve the resistance, we can achieve these things. How do we relieve the resistance? It's yoga. But when you look at this, the way we've mapped it out, you can tell this is kind of chaotic. It's going to be hard to know what to talk about when there's this many different things, okay? So looking at my head hurt, like I, there's just too much to deal with on this one. These might all be awesome content ideas. This might, each one of these might be a Facebook post, as long as we can tie it back into this somehow. So we could say that flow is possible when you release the resistance by doing yoga. We could say that ease is possible when you release the resistance through the power of yoga. But then we're not really talking about spine science, and we're not really talking about pain relief. We could connect that to lifestyle, but again, too chaotic. It, it hurts my head. So we're going to get rid of that. We get rid of all of that, and we are going to follow the real to ideal ninja way of making this more clear. Okay, are you ready? Let me just dive into the comments for a second and see how we're doing. Yay, can read that better. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Jennifer's a faulty. I love it. I love it. Yes, definitely connect with Fiona Tate. She's in the Real to Ideal Superstars group. So you guys are like one post or comment away from each other. If you wrote a little bigger, it would be easier to see. Okay, I will definitely write bigger. Thank you so much for that feedback. All right, okay, good. Sounds good. I will do my best to write big, but these markers are kind of small for what we're doing. Uh, let's see here. So through a combination of last week's live training, 
and the brand distillation exercise that's in that workbook I told you about. If you don't have the workbook, jump up to the pinned post on Real to Ideals Facebook page, grab your workbook. Uh, because that exercise is in the workbook, I'm not going to repeat those steps here because you can do that on your own. It's a workbook specifically designed for you to DIY it, but I'm going to show you the results. So as we mentioned earlier, um, through last week's exercise and the brand distillation exercise in the workbook, Anita was able to distill all of that chaos down to one thing, embody transcendent bliss. Uh, let's see here. Make sure I get this on screen. Okay. <laughs> Oops, wait, let me say bigger. Bigger! Sorry, my bigger is also slower. <laughs> okay. So now that we have this, how can we make this clear? So I know from working with Anita on this that we have narrowed it down. And this is just an example. Like Anita can choose to use this example. She could choose to tweak it. She could choose to completely scrap it and do her own thing. But this is how I would do it if I was doing it for Anita. And then we would, of course, go back and forth to find out how it feels, how it works for her, does this meet all of her needs, et cetera. Um, so this is what I would do. Can I get that? I would do. Whew, just barely made that hustle. One of the things that Anita helps her clients with is they, this is where they are now. This is where she's meeting them. They're in the middle of a hustle that they can't possibly sustain, so they are going to burn out. She's going to help them break free of that so that they don't burn out. Um, internal resistance is also something she helps her clients with. Internal resistance. Now, as you're going to see, internal resistance is when, when we break free of this, we can embody transcendent bliss. When we break free of the unsustainable hustle, we can embody transcendent bliss. Same thing with pain relief. Okay, and now we're going to go a different direction here. We're going to say harmonious balance. Is on screen? Yep. Harmonious balance. Okay, and so part of harmonious balance is flow. Ease, let's see, uh, vitality, and inner bliss. Okay, so this is an example of how I would map out that chaos that we had before based on her three-word grand phrase. Now, even if she didn't know what her three-word grand phrase was yet, we would be able to figure it out by just saying, I want to talk about this, I want to talk about this, I want to talk about this, and I want to talk about these things. What do all these things have in common? We're trying to get to the point of embodying trans transcendent bliss. So, one way you could look at this, and again, there's many different ways to take this to the next step. Um, just to clarify what stage we're at, we now have a clear mind map. We went from chaos to clear. So basically what I've done so far in this workshop is a recap of last week's workshop. So if you're not sure how I went from that chaos earlier that hurt my head to this, that's in last week's workshop. You can still find that on the Real 20 Facebook page. 
Doing this, even if I didn't know the three word brand phrase, would help me get clear on what this is. Why do we care about harmonious balance? Why do we care about ease, flow, vitality, and inner bliss? Why do we care about pain relief? Oh, I forgot. Pain relief actually has yoga as its subset. So let's put yoga over here. So yoga is one of the tools that can help us relieve from the pain so that we can embody transcendent bliss. Uh, same thing with picking up the unsustainable hustle or finding a way to eliminate the unsustainable hustle. So now we have our clear mind map, our three word brand phrase. Let me double check comments real quick. Looks good. Okay, fabulous. So yeah, keep commenting any questions or if any of this is not clear keep uh, commenting so now we one way we could look at this we could see these I'm gonna run out of the room here but let's see how it is okay those things there could be considered symptoms Okay, symptoms that we're not going to be able to embody transcendent bliss. So this is where Anita's potential clients are now, when you want to meet them where they are so that you can get into their heads, get their attention, um, speak to the, what they're actually struggling with today. These are the things you're going to talk about. Pain relief, internal resistance, and unsustainable hustle. When you talk about what are the benefits of eliminating this, working through it, working with Anita, you get this. The benefits of relieving the pain, the benefits of relieving the internal resistance, and the benefits of getting out of the unsustainable hustle are ease, flow, inner bliss, vitality, and harmonious balance. Okay, so these are the benefits. All right. So now, now that you're looking at this, even with the added chaos of, of the multicolors and everything, now that you look at this, you can imagine the ease of running a business that's this clear and easy to describe. Now she can easily say, I help, insert whoever I help here, I, you know, obviously it's going to be people who are dealing with these things, attain or achieve transcendent bliss so they can these things, okay? So let, let's, let's make that clear. Anita helps entrepreneurs, career climbers, and other hustlers reach flow, ease, and bliss so they can love life again. Or she could connect it to the money, which is always a great way to uh, attract clients and make sales. Uh, Anita helps entrepreneurs, career climbers, and other hustlers achieve flow, ease, and bliss so they can do better work, attract higher vibe clients, um, so they can be open up the creative channels so that the work they're doing is just better quality work, more creative, um, problem solving becomes easier, uh, launches are less stressful, and when launches are less stressful, you make more money. So she could tie it to that. But personally, I like the idea just because it, it matches this bliss so much. I mean, obviously she could do both. When she's launching something, she might want to connect it to the money. When she's not in the middle of launching something, she might want to just connect it to the loving your life again. So, uh, as an example, Anita helps entrepreneurs, career climbers, and other hustlers embody flow, ease, and bliss so they can love life again. Through her content, she'll show them how they don't need to keep the unsustainable hustle. Through her content, she'll show them how they don't need to live with this internal resistance. Through her content, she's going to show them how they don't need to live with the pain, that there's a better way. And once we release this stuff, then we make room for 
harmonious balance, inner bliss, vitality, ease, and flow. All right? So uh, let's see here. I'm going to do a quick check on the comments and a time check. 11.30. Oh, my gosh. I'm going through this so quickly. All right. Questions. Awesome. Would the self-care idea go under pain relief as a subset of pain relief? I don't think so. Hmm, let's see, self-care. Self-care would be a how. Like, these are the symptoms. So, if self-care helps you relieve pain, that could be one of your how. So, if yoga is one how, then self-care could be another how. Now, that's self-care that relieves pain. There's going to be other self-care that's going to be important to unsustainable hustle. Okay? Um, and there's probably self-care to help you with the internal resistance as well. All right? I'm going to grab a quick drink of water, let you think of any questions that you may have. Any comments, any questions? We're not done. I still am going to break this down into content ideas. Unfortunately, I think I have room to write somewhere else. I don't have any room to write the content ideas. So I'm going to erase, uh, I'll erase this side. And uh, we'll go into content ideas. All right, so any questions? All right. I'm not seeing questions, there might be a delay. I'll check back in a second. So let's talk content ideas. You know what, just to make it easier to, to look at this, I'll read off the content ideas. You can write them down if you want to. Um, after this live is over and I have some lunch and such, I will write down these content ideas in a list and I'll add them in the comments so that you can check them out later if you want. But, so some of the content ideas that I had for this would be, of course, meet them where they are now. Always speak to what your clients are struggling with now. You don't want to speak about the problem they're going to have two steps from now. Um, if you feel like you need to speak to the problem they haven't had yet, then there's a problem with who you're targeting or what you're offering. So let's say, for example, Anita wanted to talk about, ooh, I don't have a next step for this. Anita, you might need to help me with this, but let's say they have already, they've already burnt out. There you go, they've already burnt out. This is, the hustle was unsustainable, they're already burnt out. It could be that it's now too late for them to work with Anita. Not necessarily, but I'm just saying, that person may not be her ideal client. So instead of speaking to the person who's already burnt out, she wants her message to be super, super clear to the people who haven't burnt out yet. For example, um, if in fact, the, uh, let's see here, they are feeling the pain relief, they do want help, they're thinking surgery, but they don't want to go into surgery, what would be two steps too far for them? Um, they've just given up, and there's no more convincing them that there's pain. There is relief. So if they no longer believe that pain relief is possible, they may not be Anita's ideal client. Now, Anita can take the time to educate them, show them what's possible, and expand their belief in what's possible, um, make them believe that this is possible for them too. So that might be a whole content strategy there but she wants to speak to her ideal clients first with what they're struggling with now meet them where they are and then guide them towards what's possible so there's a phrase in sales called low hanging fruit when you want sales immediately you go for the low hanging fruit and that means the people that are almost ready to buy they just need to hear about your solution, know that your solution exists, and get on board. Like, they're 
they're there, they're ready to buy. Um, it's going to be easy to sell to them. So they would be people who believe that pain relief is possible. They, believe, they know they have internal resistance and they're ready to solve it. They know their hustle is unsustainable. They're ready to solve it. So you might want to offer something for those people speaking directly to like, look, you're ready to fix this. You know this is possible. Let's do this. Okay, so that would be one way of launching something for them. Then, after you've already captured the fast action takers or the low hanging fruit, you may want to do a second content campaign. And the other content campaign would be showing the non believers that it's possible to release these things from their life and embody transcendent bliss. So, there will be some people you need to educate. And you're going to guide them through this journey of what's possible. All right, so now I've teased you plenty. Uh, take a pic before I erase. Okay, great idea. Uh, let's see here. Phone's up here. So let me talk content ideas while I take this picture. Sitting in your chair all day hustling to make money and success can wreak havoc on your back. Here's what to do about it. So that's where we're talking pain relief through yoga. Um, so she's speaking to like, look, I know you're sitting in your chair all day. I know you think this is necessary to get your work done, but it doesn't have to hurt. The more your back hurts, the more you want out of that chair. The more you want out of that chair, the less work you get done. Let's cure the pain. Here's how. Hustling too hard can cause internal resistance to success, which can create barriers to the thing you want most. So if you've launched something in the past and it didn't work, you're going to walk into your next launch with that belief. So relieving the internal resistance to your success will make it easier for your next launch. Um, that actually might be going, the launch idea might be going a little bit too far off of this clear message. I think this message could actually be made more clear. I think this is, this is a great start. You could maybe even eliminate some of this, like, you know, or figure out how the internal resistance works with this a little bit more clearly. Because I think when you start talking about like, um, like uh, connecting it to the money or the launches or whatever, you have to be careful that you're tying it back into like why this matches your existing message. So if the existing message is Anita helps entrepreneurs, career climbers, and other hustlers reach flow so they can love their life again, she's going to have to show how if you launched before and, you, and, it, and something didn't work and you're going into your next launch with that internal resistance already in place, got to link it back to like how this is going to help with ease and flow and bliss so you can love your life again. Go into your next launch with ease and flow and bliss so that you don't block your own success. There you go. We just tied it in. Okay, uh, camera. Flow and ease is possible when you recognize what is unsustainable and release it. You could do like a three-part uh, three blog series, for example. Part one, what is flow? Part two, why do we want flow? Part three, how to achieve flow. Um, I just did that on the Real to Ideal blog a week or two ago. I did um, what is content marketing? Why is content marketing the easiest and most effective way to get better results, better return on your investment, um, book more clients? Uh, and then part three was, okay, let's come up with a content marketing plan. Like here is how to implement content marketing into your business. So three part blog series like that are great because you can walk someone from total beginner. I don't even know what flow is or why I want it and then how to get it. And by then if they've read all three parts, they're an ideal client and they're very warmed up to work with you. Another content idea is harmonious bliss starts in your physical body but shows up in the rest of your life. Okay, so now you're talking to two different people. You're talking to the people who um, they have the physical pain and they know they have the physical pain, but they didn't recognize that these other things happening in their life were related to that physical pain. 
and you're also speaking to the people who are seeing the manifestations in their life. They're seeing the symptoms and didn't realize it's connected to the pain. So you just got two different types of clients with one blog post right there. Um, and then, of course, the other one is physical pain. Um, how did I word this? Physical pain starts in your physical body but shows up in the rest of your life. So I did both harmonious balance starts in your physical body but shows up in the rest of your life, meaning that when you get your body into harmonious balance, then the rest of your life will have harmonious balance and show less address it on the physical level and watch it show up in the non-physical level. Same exact content idea, you just rewrite it for pain relief. Pain shows up in your physical body, manifests in, your, in the non-physical parts. And so let's address it in the body so that we can experience it in the other parts of our life. All right. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, we went from chaos to clear, and we showed how this actually is talking about symptoms and how to get the benefits. So now we've got sort of like a flow going on in here in our mind map. We've got a clear message, who she helps, what she helps them with, and why do they care. So Anita helps entrepreneurs, career climbers, and other hustlers reach flow and ease and bliss so they can love life again. Um, through her content and some of the content ideas that I just shared with you, she's going to show them how they don't have to live with these symptoms and how they can make room for the benefits, all right? So she could run with those ideas today. Um, and if you like what you've heard today, hopefully I've given you everything you need to DIY it. And of course, if you don't want to DIY it, you and I can do this with your message too. We can come up with content ideas. We can come up with a clear message. Leave comments on this video. I'll help you in the comments because trust me, if it's something that can be fixed in the comments, let's just fix it. Um, yeah, and that's it. So let me check on the comments. And yes, I am going to take a picture before I erase this. Let's see. I don't see any additional comments. So if what I've been talking to you about today, if this sounds like you and you're ready to cure it, you want to solve it, then look Anita Chandra up. She can be found at Transcend with Anita Chandra. That's the Facebook page. I said it differently earlier. But it turns out it's actually Transcend, that's T-R-A-N-S-E-N-D, with Anita Chandra. You can look that up on Facebook. And I don't see any other comments at this time. So if that's it, I'm going to finish my espresso and enjoy this beautiful co-working space. And that's all. All right, thanks so much for watching. Um, definitely come back next week. Um, this time next week, on Wednesday, I think that's the 25th, if I remember right, I am going to be teaching you about content that attracts, content that attracts clients, content that converts, so that's content that converts um, the people you attracted into diehard fans and paying clients, and content that sells. So that way they are already sold by the time they get on a phone call with you. Or if you don't do um, free calls or discovery calls or anything like that, then they, your content will sell them so that by the time they see the buy it now button, by the time you launch something, they're ready to buy. So next week is all about the three types of content. Content that attracts, content that converts, and content that sells so that you can take these content ideas and create a aligned sales funnel that makes sense so that it makes money. All right? Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.